So 2022, very busy first week of the year and we're back with a bang as we, and we'll show you what we're doing in the workshop today. We're very lucky today, we've got a very special friend of Sterling who's visiting us, Ollie Ollerton. Hello mate. Hi Ollie. Great happy to new see you year. again. Yeah, happy new year to you. Yeah, I, I love coming here, it's my favourite place. <laughs> it's also dangerous though mate, so start to get, um, and I'm, I'm like a boy in a sweet shop. <laughs> you know? So uh, yeah, really uh, keen to see what you're doing mate. And, I can already see a few things that uh, are looking really, really cool. So, do you want to talk us around? Yeah, well, that's so why we love start. you. Did Where you bring your checkbook? Uh, no. <laughs> okay. I think my missus held it back home for that very purpose. <laughs> yeah. Very wise, yeah. probably. Um, well, Audi Q8. Mm. Yeah, yeah, this is uh, one, one of our uh, earlier conversions that we did when we started, like nearly three years ago. Yeah. Then. And um, it's, this is a beautiful colour. This is mm. an Audi colour, Dragon Orange. And we, it's a very straightforward conversion for us now. And we turn these yeah. around quite quickly. Uh, it's a 17 piece body kit. We wow. black pack the, whole, the, the mm. whole sort of front end, but all of these pieces, canards, lower corner, center and full splitter, that's all us. So it really sort of from the front just increases the mouth and the width of the car. Yeah. It just gives it some nice stance, you know, for want of a better word. Yeah, well I, um, I was actually drawn to you because of the Defenders, obviously. Of and course. then I come here and then I realise, you know, I, I didn't actually know you did anything with Audis. Do a bit so, of everything, yeah. 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 No, this is incredible. The, yeah, thank you. No, it's a great one. We put 22 inch wheels on, mm. um, the vanity tyres, high performance, pro yeah. um, and roof wing and rear corner. And mm. that, that sort of finishes it off it, it looks like it's not a lot but it's it's actually quite a, yeah. quite a big conversion in terms of number of num mm. number of elements you know um, and of course we just pulled this one back in to finish it off with our um, full interior conversion as well yeah so yeah. Um, jump in have a look yeah That is nice, isn't it? Yeah, so one of our designers affectionately called this pattern Hemiola. Mm. And we've, uh, so we are debossing on our logo and branding yeah. in the seats. Nice little details like the branding on the gear, yeah. st gear stick, you know. So that's what makes the difference, doesn't it? And that's, I think, the attention to detail, which is what you guys really focus on, is amazing, isn't it? I mean, that. Uh, and all the other li little bits and bobs it's not just an external affair you, you go into so much detail because this is really the outside is for the outside looking in it's really it's your comfort zone you're, you're it's, sat here yeah. not really, it's that, so it's really important to get this right so and these seats feel amazing so they're these totally i think we're going to have a look at the seats in a bit aren't we? yeah but yeah they're totally stripped from yeah them. yeah totally stripped this is probably one of the hardest seats we do i mean as yeah. you can imagine it's audi it's current it's there's a lot of electrics in that scene yeah. so in terms of stripping and uh, replacing all that leather mm. this is it's probably the longest one we do yeah. but things like the gear seat we we, we we operate on a sort of second look policy so mm. it's things you might not see straight away and you go yeah. oh look they did that as well you know we love that yeah it makes a massive difference mm. that's one for the wife this mate i tell you what <laughs> She uh, she much prefer you know a set of wellies and a, and a defender any day, mate. Oh, but, well, um, come this way yeah. then. <laughs> <laughs> so defenders abound. Yeah, yeah. I tell you what, it's like I mean I've obviously got the 110, but um, and then when I was we were filming SAS Australia, that's sponsored by um, Land Rover. Right. And we got the we had the one tens when we did the first series and then and the second series and then we took the we took the nineties and to be quite honest I was I was not over keen but on this a yeah but looking at this I mean mate this just takes it to the next level and um, do you want to talk us through yeah because well there, I mean, this, there's, there's a lot of not standard this stuff is on here, well so. I'll go through the the other vehicle yeah. but I mean because uh, this isn't quite finished yet so but we we're getting a lot of these now first editions coming into the market. Mm. So we're, we're buying them and we're converting them because the first editions had a few sort of nice extra features. Yeah. While it's sat here, I, I mm. just um, I don't know if I'm allowed to tell you, but I will, because it's you, Ollie. Come on. We've got the first test fit of our light bar for the Defender. So we've 3D printed that in-house and it's um, 
we're not overly that's not the final design mm. so we're going back and we're redesigning it and but but that's the beauty of 3d printing in house yeah. you you can just adapt you know you can just uh, do something yeah. again the next day mm. you know, print it overnight and away you go so with that i mean i've got the light bar on mine and there's significant wind noise you know what i mean so yeah. does that, uh, this is have you tested for that or yeah so so we haven't got to road testing yet but if you look yeah. from here you can see it doesn't extend above the roof rail. Yeah, sure. So we, we've, it's all down, it's all placed right on top mm. of the screen uh, so that it takes it the curve of the screen yeah. before it goes flat, if that makes sense. Gotcha. So, you know, we, we've done our best in terms of like simulation. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah got, it's, got to, it's got to be less road noise than something that's like Definitely. mine that's stuck on the roof rail. There's some out there. Yeah, yeah there's, there's the light bars are on the roof rail. Yeah. There's some other pods that look mm. like periscopes and things like yeah. that. We, we, that's it. We've, we've taken all that sort of feedback on part of the car, doesn't it? Exactly, exactly. So yeah, two lamps, and mm. uh, we've test, test, uh, tested the lamps in place as well. And yeah, yeah. If there's anyone driving in front of you, they're gonna get sunburned <laughs> on the back, the back of their neck. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> But uh, I, I love the first editions because mm. most of them came with the, and this has had the interior as well, and most of them came with the jump seat, which for, for some reason I'm always thinking of carting the kids about. Yeah, yeah, yeah you no, know, it's brilliant. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, anyone that hasn't owned one of these won't realise that the, the amount of detail you go into there, you can't see it properly, but that's, you know, that's where the Defender would be. Yeah, we, we, we've set all the Alcantara yeah. detail, and we've basically done away with all the magnesium parts on the mm. dashboard painted those black, same yeah. on the doors, uh, and in line them with our unique sort of trademark blade yeah. design on the seats. Yeah. Because they have to say, like, on, on my 110, I, the only thing I'm not happy about is the standard seats. Yeah. It all, already looks like it's getting some fade. Yeah, so if you had an earlier one, yeah. uh, Landra did have a few issues, uh, mm. I think, out in the market with the oatmeal. Is it the oatmeal colour or the black? The black. Yeah, so yeah. it's just that panel mm. there, yeah. and it looks like it's stained. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 But I, th I know they've rectified that now, but right. uh, I think yeah. it was a, an early material trial or something. Yeah. But yeah, so leather, sterling leather, that's the way to go. Sterling leather. <laughs> well, I'll show you the full, a fully yeah. built car, yeah. Yeah, and no, that is. Now, I had you in mind, you know, when you said you were coming? Yeah. yeah. Mate, if I lived in Chelsea, that's what I'm <laughs> <laughs> I'd never get away with that around the farm. No, no, no it's true. true. Well, uh, but it looks, it looks amazing. It does, yeah. yeah. And this is quite unique. So this was built with the uh, OEMA bar. Mm -hmm. So it's the winch front, front end. So a winch fit, fits in behind the A bar. All right, so you get, you get the winch in there. That's it. Right. The bracket's there for it yeah. and everything. So our Defender front end, and mm. we'll show you on the, the next one now, is a full 19-piece kit. Yeah. So it's a three-piece grill and what have you. So we thought, well, we want it to integrate mm. with the A-bar and be unique in the market yeah. and what have you. So we 3D printed some extra sections, so it yeah. all marries up to the A-bar, and it all works. So essentially, this replaces our three-piece grill. Yeah. And we've redesigned sort of the oval so that um, it, all, it all sort of yeah you know comes together in the same way as our full front end sterling branding um and it's already got the accessory pack on it mm. our our bonnet vents yeah which like just follow the line the bulge on the bonnet mm. side Bees. vents yeah yeah because yeah, it's got the uh, the checker plate yeah i've got yeah 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 so uh we thought we'll, re 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 we'll replace that and mm. sort of uh, do something that looks a bit more functional because yeah the checker plate's a bit plasticky and yeah no it looks yeah I mean, if that if you saw that in the rear view mirror you know something big is coming <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, yeah, he's like, yeah yeah and this this one we've gone full out you know you know it's mm. got snorkel yeah like I said, it's got the accessory pack it's uh it's ready for an expedition it is mate yeah i can help when are we going <laughs> don't tempt me so like I said, this is full overland spec. It's even got North American spec wide arches. So we put yeah. the JR wide arches on all our kits anyway. Yeah. This has the, the extra light, uh, um, lights in the corner. What is that? So What's they come on with the lights. Oh, that's yeah. not just it. Right, okay. Yeah, yeah. Gotcha. So, um, so again, you really see that coming in the road. Yeah. yeah. Side steps, we always do as part of our conversion. Side vents, I mentioned. Yeah. Like I said, it's got the full Explorer pack on. Mm. And the side box, which not a lot of people know what to do with. Yeah. So, uh, 
our trim shop. They You've are got the kids' school books in there. Don't school you? books. <laughs> I'm thinking. I'm thinking hunting. I'm thinking. Yeah, yeah. Snifter a whiskey or something yeah, in there. I think that's more like it, mate. Yeah. yeah. So uh, yeah, I mean, our trim shop uh, manager is designing an insert to hold your bottles and your cups. Nice. So. He, See this at the next yeah. hunt you go to. Yeah, yeah. I can see Absol you with a Absolutely. bit of tweed. Yeah, a bit of tweed. I love a bit of tweed. <laughs> of course. Yeah. And our 20, our 20 inch sterling wheel with mm. Devante all terrain tires. Yeah. On. But um, yeah, that's great. I just finish it at the back. This has got the OEM tow hooks. Mm. This is our corner finisher and the two piece roof spoiler, yeah. which is a, a little, again, a little bit more unique. Mm. There's some out in the market that are full width. So yeah. Let's try and be different, and, and of course, spare wheel cover. Yeah, that's that's just advertising for us, really. Yeah, yeah. No, but it is important to have those. I mean, I've not. Um, I mean, it gets filthy, but um, yeah, it's a good idea to have the old cover on, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. We've got a solid one coming as well, so yeah. there's, there's a bit of choice, you know. And of course, uh, the ladders get to the roof rack. Yeah, right. So, I think that comes down, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So unlocks, comes down, and. Andrus used to be a big boy, he's on a diet now, mm. our trim manager, and we've seen him bouncing up and down right. on this roof rack. So, yeah, you know, they are purposeful, very yeah. much. Yeah. Um, and great for roof tents. Mm. I know you love a roof tent. I do, mate. <laughs> I do. <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, it's, with these, it's like, because the more you can create on the outside, it's like the roof, the, the box on the side. I mean, people, you know, once you actually are going away, yeah. you know, all that, that space is vital. And yeah. then, you know, for getting stuff on here, if you don't have a roof tent, on you can put your boxes up there everything so yeah yeah it's really about it's utilizing the vehicle for what it's yeah they're not just a look they are like yeah, you say they're, they're, purpose, there is yeah. a design uh, you know a sense yeah. to the design really yeah no no they're great but that that's what it's like you know my defender it's about purpose yeah you know what i mean it looks great anyway but it's about purpose and you know that for me is important yeah you know it, it looks great you know if we're doing stuff business wise it looks great and then you know it's uh, obviously delivers when you so you want to take this is what you're saying yeah mate <laughs> we'll yeah go for a spin, i think we? it's in your interest look i can do a bit of advertising <laughs> for you you got that's why i made a, a special focus on your rear wheel exactly. thing there, thank so. you very mate, much yeah yeah, yeah. And like I said, this has got the Devante tyres. Yeah. Um, and of course, we have the collaboration on the uh, yeah. Oliton operator. Yeah. They're at Ford Ranger. Um, we we put that on Devante mm. tyres. What would you say about Devantes? No, no. I mean, they 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 look they're a great looking tyre for a start. Um, and performance wise, I mean, that, that the Ranger performs beautifully with those, those yeah. Devantes on. So I think the big thing for me is uh, obviously they're an all-terrain tyre, mm. but yeah, there's other brands out there. May might look a bit more aggressive, yeah. but the road noise is incredible. Yeah, that's it, the road noise. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. so these are real that's sort of halfway yeah, house. You wouldn't notice uh, good the advances I've got. You wouldn't notice. You, you have no road noise yeah. inside. So I think, yeah, no, they're, they're a great looking tyre as well. Brilliant. Right. And then you've got the snorkel. And the snorkel. Yeah. Like I said, it's, it's, it's all about... Uh, oh, nice attention to detail. Yeah, right? just little things like that, you know. Yeah. And second look policy. Yeah. Like I said, yeah. 100%. So, uh, yeah, the snorkel. This this is... This mm. isn't a Chelsea tractor, is it? This no. is designed to no. go anywhere, you know. It's not. It's not. And obviously, these these now, are the, these are the most technologically advanced 4x4 yeah. vehicles out there. You know, yeah. so to be able to do an aesthetic job mm. on something that does the job as yeah. well in its own right, yeah, it's, it's great fun for us. Still a bit of a push, a bit of pushback from the old and bold Defender drivers, though, eh? Yeah, there's yeah. there's purists out Scared there. to let go. Definitely, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I, I I think times are a changing. Yeah, you know. Um, At least it hasn't got the turning circle of a tanker. <laughs> the QE2. <laughs> the QE2. <laughs> yeah. It's another Defender in build. I just want to show you the full Sterling front end. Yeah, I'm loving those wheels. They look great, don't they? Yeah, I mean. It's just, they do look good on a 22, you know, yeah. as long as you can get the right tyre and, uh, you know, something a bit yeah. aggressive looking. Um, I think it really, really suits the type of car mm. it is, the type of vehicle it is. So this is the front end. This is actually an inter interior build at the moment. Yeah. Um, and really the bulk of the, the kit mm. is on the front end. Yeah. Got these finishers here, here, lower corner. And they're all they're all parts that as you walk around the car catch the light in different ways yeah. you know even our grill has just little chamfers here and there mm. 
and just little features like this sort of replicates our blade interior design. Yeah. So you didn't notice that, did you? Uh, of course. Well, you will now. <laughs> you will now. I'll show you a seat yeah, yeah. in a second. Yeah. yeah. And just more, more branding. So it's yeah. three pieces, that, that, and the lo lower mm. part of the grill. Yeah. Um, and so it's quite such an extensive yeah, front end. mine look flipping. It's 13 I'm pieces. Pre You're depressing me. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to leave here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> This is why I got you in. I know, I know. <laughs> Reverse psychology, I know what's going on. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's so, great. let's talk interiors. Yeah. Um, I mean, you can see from here, from mm. here how much work goes into the interior, essentially. Jesus, there's absolutely nothing left in there. Nothing, nothing left at all. <laughs> I'll tell you what, because I, I looked at that and I thought, well, look, all they've done really is change a couple of seats and whacked on a bit of... But, so you have to go through that full strip everything most people think like you say it's it's just changing covers yeah we do the full dash dashboard uh, refurb as well like mm. i say with all the magnesium parts uh we alcantara we, we do all the top bar center console we do all the like the hockey sticks we call them all the yeah. side bars on the center console and and all the seats but the seats come out mm. like, again they're like semi-electric seats there's, there's there's a lot of internals strip all the original and full rebuild with our wow. kids yeah that's incredible. Mm. A lot of work, a lot of, lot of hours. A lot of hours. Mm. A lot of hours. Well, let me introduce you to the guy who's responsible. The real people, the real blokes that do the work, you mean? Yeah. <laughs> now, I'm generally not, not allowed over here. <laughs> Why is that? Well, because I kind of make promises that Andrus has to keep. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Andrus. Hi. So, How are you, mate? That's good. Sound good. Yeah. Nice oh, to meet yeah. you too. I'm glad you got that set up ready. Yeah. So that's that's out of that vehicle there, is it? The one yes, we just looked the at. Blue Defender, yes. So that that's uh that's a seat fully complete, is it? Well, almost complete, still plastics to go on 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 the, on the, on the round, but we uh, fit them and back in the car anyway. Yeah. So yeah. that's not that's not gone on top of the original so no, you take no. all the because obviously that would affect the heating system and everything, Absolutely. wouldn't it? So we take the original covers off, we even change the shape of the foam. Yeah. So the original Defender seats are got these curves in the middle. We we completely redesigned it. Mm. So we amend the forms as well, and then we fit our own covers mm. that are manufactured in the same factory as the OEMs. Beautiful so leather as well, that isn't it? It is. This, I was pointing. Oh, sorry, I was pointing out just the the grill shape as well. That's yeah. kind of our theme, isn't it? You know, the, we the tried to. Touch. Yeah, we oh, tried yeah. to. I think. Yeah. I think the body kit was born first, and then we tried to apply the. Uh, to the leather, yeah, to the leather, yeah, mm, yeah. to have some little details. That's awesome. Yeah, because I was just saying before that you know I've got the standard seats in mine and they're starting to look. It's only it's a, what is it, two thousand, uh, two twenty, yeah, two thousand twenty model, yeah. and the seats are starting to look worn already. It's just yeah, it's one thing that really lets it down. It does let it down, and they don't really comfortable the original ones because mm. they're flatter, like you say. That's yeah. why we made different so shapes. We, uh, mm. For some, well, we had a few customers where we even made this deeper to make it more like a bucket seat. Yeah, because they're really flat. Yeah, uh, and they, you know, they, you're kind of falling off the seat all the time. Yeah, that's especially tell you what the seat is actually the only thing that <laughs> is like the old. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they haven't really advanced that far. That's with that. So, uh, uh, but no, that looks incredible. Uh, yeah. Well, like I say, we use, you know, and you've got all these different different colours, yeah. anything the customer wants. We can, we've got our own branding, we, you know, we debuff mm. stuff in, in, in house and we, we offer seat, different seat belts to match the stitching. If you want any top stitch, any, anything changing on the seat, we can do that because everything's yeah. done in house. So you could do different colour stitching, like red yeah. stitching to go with them. Yeah, yeah, that'd be awesome. Like we did on the Q8, sort of, mm. you know, all the yeah. outer stitching was a different colour to match yeah. the colour of the car, and yeah. Mm. Mm. Yeah, well, the limit is only the, uh, you the know, imagination. The imagination, imagination and the wallet. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you get what you pay for, though, don't exactly. you? Exactly. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, incredible. I didn't realise so much detail went into the whole It's build. a lot of work goes into yeah. it, and people, people just think we just changed the covers, but yeah. we strip complete interior. No, I just, I just saw that. Yeah, we, yeah. Uh, we the time that we take must be. Uh, it goes a lot of hours into it, a lot of memory, yeah. but so. But, and this is an awesome job. Sorry, and, th and th yeah. this is the similar to the design then in your Ford Ranger, isn't it? Yeah, that's the no, guy's got absolutely. The blade and those so. seats are so comfortable. Mm. Really are. Oh, good. So. good. Yeah. Well, let's go get your checkbook then, mate. How about you take me out in that Defender first, and then we'll. 
You Decide. drive. Well, I'll drive. You drive. I'll come drive. on then. Yeah, yeah, come on. So thank you for joining us and a big thank you to Ollie Ollerton, good friend of Sterling Automotive, for coming today and uh, having a look at what, we, what we're up to. He loved the Defender, loved the test drive, had to literally prise the keys out of his hands. Um, hopefully he'll buy it now. Um, this kind of video, this is what we're going to do moving forward. We want to highlight a lot of our new products and sort of bring you into what, what, we're, what we're about here at Sterling Automotive. So if that's the sort of thing you, you want to see, that's brilliant. Please do like and subscribe. So until next time, bye-bye.